Juniper recently announced new platforms for packet optical integration, a 20-degree Rotom and open line system. In many ways, a good analogy are our road transport systems today. The fibres are the roads and you have multiple vehicles plying the roads, including buses. And optical transport is like bus routes that run through the network, picking up and dropping the passengers off at Rotoms. In the past, the situation was that if you wanted to run different vendors' bus stops, you have to carve out separate lanes on the roads for each of the vendors' buses. And on top of that, to only use the vendors' buses on those bus lanes. As you can imagine, it's neither easy to deploy, scalable, nor economical. What we have announced recently, the open line system, is the ability to run different buses at different bus stops. Juniper has greatly enhanced the Rodems. So mm-hmm. in our analogy, mm-hmm. the bus stops. Rodems are reconfigurable optical add drop multiplexes, which allow us to essentially insert or add, remove, basically dropping, different wavelength of light into and out of the optical fiber. So in the oldest Rodem designs, the buses kind of stop and leave in a single direction. So in our latest Rodems, what we have essentially done uh, is to provide an upgrade to these bus stops into full bus stations, allowing buses to arrive and leave in any of the 20 directions simultaneously. High-speed packet optical integration allows us to avoid using feeder bus service. Now they can directly take a bus to their final bus stop without changing to any feeder bus service, either okay. at the beginning or at the end. Today we have Sui Jin Fong, Systems Engineering Director Southeast Asia for Juniper Networks, who will be sharing about the latest innovations in optical transport.